Hey guys, Kiel here from Film Critic. Now, Ant-Man is out, thought it was a fun movie, but if you look at the future, boom, there's a lot of superhero or comic book movies, if you like that way, that are coming out in the near future. And even on this list, not even all of them are announced yet. There are like still rumors of a solo Batman movie, is gonna be directed by Ben Affleck himself. And that's not even on this list yet. This cool little graph that I got from firstshowing.net. Awesome site about movie news. Check those guys out. But anyway, I would just wanna like to discuss, you know, a small bit about all the upcoming superhero movies that have been officially announced yet that are coming out. And not only that, I'm now just gonna do an overview, but then I'm gonna do a separate movie about every of those films that are coming out. And like, as you can see, yep, the list is pretty big. We're first, of, of course, blah, 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 blah. yep, weird talking now, <laughs> but of course, we're gonna talk about all the films that are coming up, like I said, but Ant Man, the first one, is already out. And like I said, it was a fun and funny movie. And it of course featured Ant-Man, Paul Rudd as Ant-Man, and uh, Michael Douglas as Hank Pym. And Paul Rudd was Scott Lang. And of course Ant-Man had to fight Yellow Jacket, which was a cool looking costume, in my opinion. Like I said, fun film, but like a very, whoop, as you can see small movie like the movie itself was very small in scale but hey Ant-Man is small in scale so it fits anyway now in August a couple of weeks away we're gonna get the Fantastic Four reboot by Josh Trank and he of course made an amazing sci-fi indie movie a couple of years ago which was Chronicle I really dig that movie now I'm not really sold yet on the trailers of the Fantastic Four, but uh, the act, the casting is okay in my opinion, and I'm gonna give it a fair chance. Like all these movies, I'm gonna watch anyway, so I'm gonna give all these movies a fair chance. So yeah, even Fantastic Four, and then like in 2016, they're really going to hit it hard, in my opinion. Like they first are gonna start off with one that I'm really looking forward to the rated R big budget comic book movie that is Deadpool yes he will break the fourth wall and talk to you when you're in the seat in the movie theaters but hey Deadpool with Ryan Reynolds <laughs> I just think it's amazing they're like hitting every right note they, they're checking off every box Ryan Reynolds is gonna be perfect as a character the costume is real, like real set pieces, rated R, swearing, violence, blood, jokes, self-reference, it's all gonna be there. Like I said, tick, 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 every box is checked. Amazing. And then, of course, man, the juggernaut, Batman V, the V is weird, but anyway, V, Superman, Dawn of Justice. Hey, it's a subtitle, like most comic book movies have subtitles. So does this, of course, the sequel to Man of Steel. And like, the first tease they gave from this movie, Batman v Superman, I was like, meh. Now like the Comic-Con trailer, it nailed it. It really did. The Comic-Con, if you haven't seen it, check out the Comic-Con trailer for Batman v Superman. It's awesome. Really, it is. Like, the critique most people had was that in Man of Steel, Metropolis was broken and like everyone was like what casualties the city put the rubble in this sequel in this trailer you see that it's gonna have like it's not just gonna be breaking stuff and no consequence will be consequence will be this and that's why Batman's pissed at Superman because of the casualties anyway moving on another big juggernaut that is Captain America 3 Civil War and this is kind of like 
the Avengers 2 and a half because hey, it's gonna feature almost everyone except the Hulk and Thor and then and Loki and then it's just gonna feature every Avenger ever so cool so yeah you got an amazing start in February March May and then also in May X-Men Apocalypse boom X-Men Days of Future Past fantastic film really loved it and if you have it already on DVD or Blu-ray, buy it again. Check out the Rogue Cut. Extra scenes. A little bit of different. Had Rogue as Anna Piquette in there. Love it. Love it. Buy it. Watch it. Anyway. Oh yeah. Then in July we have Doctor Strange with Benedict Cumberbatch. And I think this is a good casting choice. I think it's a fine English actor. I like small spoiler alert for Ant-Man if you haven't watched Ant-Man spoiler alert when Ant-Man goes to like shrinking 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 and like in the like more when time and space ends because he's so tiny and it looks like he went to another dimension I was like what is this gonna be a tease to Doctor Strange and like Peyton Reed the director of Ant-Man has now said you need to watch that scene closely because there is a clue. And I've missed the clue. And I was like thinking all the time when I was in a theater seat. Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange. So I have to watch it again. And look at that scene. Because there's something there. Awesome. Anyway, Doctor Strange, cool. Then, of course, Suicide Squad. Oh, man. Like... I'm just sold on the co concept of it. I love all the casting. Like David Ayer is the is a fantastic filmmaker. He really brings it, in my opinion. I'm a fan of his work. Love the trailer for Suicide Squad. Other people are like, eh, I don't care. Love the trailer. Looking forward really hard to that one. So yeah, August 2016, Suicide Squad. You know, DC is really bringing it. They're man, they're gonna catch up on Marvel and bring cool stuff. At least we hope. Anyway, then October 2016, the last comic book movie of 2016, Gambit with Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Blah, 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 blah. Channing Tatum. Yes, that one. As the character Gambit. Hey! Cool casting choice there. They're probably gonna start filming it. Like, and maybe in the end of this year or early next year, because it's gonna come out in October 2016. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. So, you know, it's like... In 2016, it's gonna be an amazing comic book year. Because we have like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Comic book movies in one year. Man! And like... Three of them are gonna be juggernauts because Batman v Superman is big Civil War is gonna be big and X-Men Apocalypse is gonna be big yep they're gonna be like box office juggernauts confirmed anyway let's move on then in March of 2017 we're getting the Wolverine tree the last time you Jackman is gonna put on those adamantium claws and then it's gonna be over drag they're gonna have to reboot or recast the Wolverine and no one as a fan wants it but it's inevitable Hugh Jackman has played it for 17 years by then it's you know it's time for him to move on we respect that but hey Wolverine 3 hope it's gonna also get a director's cut like the unleashed version of the Wolverine 2 which was grittier rated R which was better than the thea theatrical version check out the unleashed cut of the Wolverine Better than, than a theoretical version. You heard it here. Anyway. Then another really, really big one. This You're probably going to laugh your ass off. Is, of course, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Volume 2. In May of 2017. The first one was awesome. Yay! <laughs> then in June, again, DC bringing it. With Wonder Woman. You know, Gal Gadot was Wonder Woman. We saw a small little tease of her in the Batman v Superman trailer. I think she's a fine casting choice as well. 
we're gonna see a lot of her in that movie so yeah let's hope it's good then of course July 2017 none other than the spider-man reboot made by Marvel released by Sony financed by Sony but still connected to Marvel Cinematic Universe oh yeah everyone likes that then in July Fantastic Four 2 now this is a big maybe because if the first one bombs we're definitely not gonna get the second one so I'm hoping it's a fun movie I hope all movies are good anyway so then we're gonna get in July 2017 Fantastic Four number two then of course in November 2017 for me the most exciting movie of 2017 none other than Thor Ragnarok why because Thor is my favorite Avenger oh yeah when I'm gonna do a video about this I'll like, I will explain why he's my favorite Avenger anyway looking forward to that then in November of 2017 we have Justice League part 1 and that's probably gonna be another big one like in 2017 we were gonna get one two three four five six seven comic book movies again seven it's so it's such a good time to be a comic book fan right anyway which are gonna be probably the juggernauts guardians of the galaxy 2 spider-man and justice league they're probably gonna be the biggest ones. Wolverine 3 also has the potential of being really big because it's the last time Hugh Jackman is gonna be the Wolverine. And yeah, we'll see. If Fantastic Four was super cool, it can be big also that one. Anyway, moving on to 2018. March of 2018, we'll get the Flash. Yeah, DC is bringing it again. Let's hope they do a good job. And then, of course, the big one probably the biggest superhero movie of the of 2018 Avengers Infinity War part 1 yeah <laughs> what boom it's there then in July 2018 Black Panther Black Panther will all will already be featured in Captain America 3 and will have gets a solo solo movie in July 2018 it's gonna be awesome I hope so anyway also in July 2018, Black Panther is going against Aquaman with Jason Momoa. The pick of him was okay when he was like, you know, I'm Aquaman. We have to see an emotion. He's probably is going to appear in Batman v Superman. Hope it's going to be cool. Hope all these movies are going to be cool. Anyway, Aquaman for July 2018. Then in November 2018, we get Captain Marvel and like let's hope that's good also we have no idea who's gonna be playing Captain Marvel that's really far out but hey hope it's cool so that's the last film of 2018 so in 2018 we're gonna get one two three four five major superhero movies but there may be a solo Batman flick in, in there somewhere that hasn't been announced yet. Of course the big one will be Avengers Infinity War and the rest will be okay or very good. Hope none of them will be a flop but hey we'll see. Then in April 2019 we're gonna get Shazam with The Rock as Black Adam. I have no knowledge of that comic book whatsoever. But DC is bringing it again. Then of course in May 2019. Hands down. The Juggernaut. Avengers Infinity War Part 2. Boom. It's bringing it. Then of course going head to head with Justice League Part 2. Oh yeah. Marvel vs DC. And then in July 2019. Marvel's Inhumans. Also a weird pick but... Guardians was weird and it was awesome. So yeah, that's what's coming from now till 2020. It's gonna be cool. I'm Kiel from Film Critic. So all I can say is enjoy and keep watching.